Okay, I got a piece of metal there that I saw was getting air. And with winter and this storm coming tomorrow, I wanted to get this chicken coop winterized completely. So I put some rubber down there to stop the draft, some metal left over from the new barn. So I just got to tack that up. And then I want to put something on the hinge of the door. Okay, mission accomplished. I got that buttoned up. Then I made a combination of a hinge and the weatherproofing of the door. Put nuclear panels which were left over from the barn. So that worked out good and I shored it up a little bit at the seams. And now they'll get daylight in there, but the wind won't be blowing in. And that rubber made a nice seal along the door. And that metal over there got that sealed, so they'll be nice and warm in here for this coming storm that's coming in. They got plenty of feed in both of the feeders. And they're using the egg collector. The heat lamps aren't on because it's not cold enough, but they will be. And my little watering system. Water comes out of the tank, goes in those cups, and then when they feed on it, you can maybe hear the change in the sound of that little pump. It keeps that water moving, goes through there, goes all the way up, dumps into one of the tanks, or three tanks, three 55-gallon tanks. The last one has the heater, so the motion of the water keeps the water, so they'll have plenty of water and light and food, so that's all they need. So that was a good project got it accomplished. Now the storm will be coming. Well, it was so windy. It blew over the uh, power for the electric fence. But yeah, boy, no well, good thing I got that but uh, But some snow blew in. Gee, where's? But not too bad. There's some snow here, so I'm gonna have to put some more rubber, maybe at the bottom. And on that side, but it was so windy. But, yeah, chickens are all huddled up, but they handle cold better than they handle heat, actually. So, it, uh, but they got water. And I gotta see, they're all huddled in here some laying eggs so but it also blew in down at this end so I see I have to work on that but it's gonna be warming up so yeah there but they got water that's the main thing and got those lamps there to keep that from freezing so they got water and they got food just a little bit cold in here Six, twenty-seven, and these aren't frozen yet, so that's good. But I gotta go a couple times through the day to get the eggs, because yesterday I waited, a lot of them froze. So, so I got the eggs for today, for this morning. They're busy drinking water, 
and some just happy out on the roost. They got ventilation, but you don't want a draft. So down low, it's no draft. It is up through the top, but that's blowing through. So, uh, but they're huddled up and they, they're comfortable that way. And they're, some are feeding, bunch are in the egg collector, so. But I do have to work on this door yet. But way better than if this had been wide open. So uh, head back to the house. Oh boy. What a day. But it's going to be in the 40s next week. But it's doing a pretty good job. If I didn't have that on there, it would have been really bad with the snow drift here. So. And then out there, just here, just covered grass. In other places, it's drifted. Wow. But at least I got the barn done. And that's wonderful, just in time. So, oh, what a day. What a day. For more information on the things we talk about, Make sure to check out the website, www.castaway.com. A lot of Kodiak products there as well, trapping, hunting, and fishing. And if you'd like to get notified on more videos that we produce, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you will be notified. And also be sure to hit the like and the share button. So until next time, have a wonderful day.